Hey guys, um, we got some cool news yesterday that about the um, World of Warcraft 10.1 uh, patch re uh, release. Um, we don't know when it's coming out yet. Everyone's kind of guessing around May. But um, yeah, they kind of just released a bunch of information. Um, and I thought I would just kind of go through it and talk about my thoughts about it. Um, as more of a casual player of the game. Um, I'm not a hardcore raider or dungeon person. But anyways, I'm always excited for every World of Warcraft patch. Um, and it's called... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Embers of Naltharian. Um, Naltharian being Deathwing. Um, so I'm guessing this is what, you know... Based off the cinematic I reacted to um, yesterday, it's pretty obvious that this is like one of his lairs, one of his last laboratories underneath uh, the Dragon Isles. And it's been kind of foreshadowed that we're going to go underneath uh, Dragonflight. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. The stage is set for the Adventures Within the Forbidden Reach. That's right. In the Forbidden Reach, we're getting that patch March 21st. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, it's right there. Yeah. Here's the updated... Um, what is this called? Just content for the next 2023 uh, content updates. Um, we've already had the Winter one. Yeah, this is the one coming in March 21st. Um, it's the point seven patch. It's new quests. Um, the vaults. I didn't really go over ten point. Um, the point seven patch. I um, there's a lot of cool stuff, but I'm definitely more excited for the point one patch. There's a lot more content to do in a point. The point one and the po it, season patches, right? Um, the one thing in the point seven I patch is I made a video about it as Torn Heritage Weapon Totem better be in the game Blizzard. I think it's like. It was data mined, but we still don't have proof of again anything from doing the Bane quest. <laughs> Anyways, this isn't about that. This is about the point one patch. Um, so you know, new zone, new raid, fire, fire rack assaults. That's the fire guy from the cinematic, the fire uh, incarnate, I believe. Um, let's see a new renown system. I actually like the renown. It's basically just new reputations, and I, as a casual player, I. I kind of just AFK grind those. I, I Funny enough, I know some people find that boring, but uh, I don't know. I'm definitely, as a casual, I'll like turn another, you know, I'm doing a video like this. I'll turn a video like this on, watch someone else on YouTube or something, and uh, just chill out and grind some rewards and stuff. Um, new PvP seasons, I'm not a big PvP or Mythic, Dungeons. Um, I check out the dungeons, but I'm not a big mythic person. New dragon riding Drake, that's cool. Use interface improvements, that's great. Um, is there anything new here? The, uh, let's see. I think this is all the same, right? The future stuff coming out. Um, story, quest, refresh, content update. Anything in the point two that's new? Um, new zone, that's the same. New open world challenges. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that could be. I hope this are like, you know, the Mage Towers. They did hint that they're going to do another Mage Tower-like thing, like a solo. I mean, but it's in the open world, so is that actually solo? Maybe it is. But it says new open world challenges, so maybe that's... that's. I'm actually most... Maybe that'll give you some cool reward. A new Renown, so we'll get another Renown. New content and features. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, this is kind of the updated one here. And now for the new zone. Uh, the Zarlek Cavern. Look at that. Here's some uh, art from it. Wow, that definitely gives me uh, Tatooine, um, those little houses in Tatooine Star Wars, kind of like, you know, sand desert huts. Um, and I will say it is cool that we're getting another uh, uh, cave zone. I think the only other cave zone we've had is Deep Home, and that's from Cataclysm, you know, and that was... When is Cataclysm? 2010, 2009? So it's been like 12 years since we've had a real cave zone. So I'm actually excited for it. Um, let's see, gather your courage. Sure, can I click on this? No. Um, gather your courage. Venture into a mysterious underground cavern. Enter, take new quests, new uh, denizens. Um, new dragon riding. Players will also encounter new and rare elites. Cool. Look at some of these pictures here. Very nice. I like it a lot. And the the new the new I think it's extended. Um, I think we can see further this expansion. I know they did a graph 
slight graphics update where you can see much further distance. Oh, there's a term for it. I can't think of it right now. You can see further. Your character can see farther. So it looks everything has more depth and looks bigger, right? This cave looks massive. Can't even like it gets foggy, right? You can't kind of see back there. And not. Uh, have to. Okay. Um. Let's see. This reminds me of that obsidian, kind of in the Waking Shores, that obsidian area. So this is kind of all very similar looking, like kind of that citadel. More citadel. I'm guessing this is where the raid is. This looks like Deep Home, right? This is literally just like a updated version of Deep Home. And I'm, it's funny, people like say it's over recycled copied content. I actually love it. I mean, because Warcraft is a nostalgic game, right? I mean, most people that play Warcraft, at least I think, have... Maybe there are some newer players, but I definitely think a lot of Warcraft players are old, you know. At least have been playing for a while. Maybe not since Classic WoW, but... I would say, like, from Classic to Cataclysm is when a lot of people played Warcraft, right? So I think most people that play WoW at least have tried one of those expansions. So to play... I think after Cataclysm, people say War, um, Wrath of the Witch King, but Warcraft is still mega popular in Cataclysm. It started to go... Oops. I just hit my mic. It started to go down... And, um, what was I trying to say? It started to go down in classical, but it's still, like, a very popular game. I, I would say Mist is kind of where it became more of a niche game. I don't know. I Funny enough, I quit in Cas Cataclysm and came back later. But, um, anyways, I side tangent there. This just, I like it when they kind of revamp zones based off old zones. If they're old enough, right? Like, Deep Home is over 10 years old. It's fun that they're kind of, and this isn't exactly Deep Home, but, you know, basically they took inspiration from it i'm guessing because this is very basically hd deep home at least this portion of the area um and yeah this is also kind of like it's just kind of womb bioluminescent or uh what do you call that in caves you know where stuff doesn't get a lot of light it actually a lot of the stuff in caves produces its own light right because they don't really have a lot of light i think that's called bioluminescent i don't know <laughs> i'm no scientist anyways uh, deep within the Obsidian Citadel from within Atherian, once defeated the dragon, or defended the Dragon Isles. Why is a vast hidden laboratory? Cool. Earth Warder, uh, forbidden practices he wanted to keep sealed from the other aspects, right? Uh, let's see, while Razagath was defeated, the Primalists carried on their bid to unravel the Titans have wrought. Okay, I'm not going to read every single thing. Uh, the, mo the Mole Folk. Very cool, known as the Niffen guys, and the Drogbar. We know them from Legion. Uh, they may not know much of the surface wars, but their knowledge of the underground will be a key to the players and um, finding their footing within. So these guys, these guys are cool looking. Um, I always like uh, Blizzard's creativity with like creatures and characters, and Drogbar, they're from Legion. Funny enough, the also Netherian zone, well, High Mountain. Um, which was a torn zone, but there was a lot of Notharian. I think one of his vaults was there too. So. And just, you know, the underground people that we've met. Well, they're new. There's from the past. Okay. New raid dungeon. Um, Aberus, the Shadow Council. Oh, uh, Crucible. Oops. So Aberus, that's what was in the cinematic that I was reacting. They mentioned Aberus. So they mentioned the raid, not the zone, really. I don't remember them saying the... What is this place called? Oh. And I'm crap with names. Um, Zerolek Cavern. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure they just talked about the uh, the raid, at least in the cinematic, the in, uh, Incarnates. Which makes sense. That's where they're going to be, and that's where they're going. Um, Breach, Neltharian's secret lab, uh, lab hidden within Cavern. <clears throat> it is here that he created the Drakthir. Oh, so we're going to learn the history of the Drakthir. That's cool. Ultimately, ultimately succumbed to the whispers of the old gods, right? Face nine, uh, nine new raid bosses, so one more than the current one. The Thor the Incarnate, as well as Skeld Commander Zachareth, whose forces seek to claim the legacy of the Drakthir. Oh, so he's in there. Interesting. So we face him. He was the one in the cinematic, too. He was the Drakthir that kind of watched everything happen. I kind of figured he was corrupted. It seems like the... His faction of Drakthir, the uh, Sundered Flame, are being whispered by the Void or corrupted by the old gods. 
classic dragons. I definitely have like a theory that I think dragons are just e easily corrupted by the void because literally they only get corrupted by the void. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that. Anyways, here's the Citadel. I mean, this is cool, but it definitely seems like we've seen this stuff. Like this reminds me of, um, literally right above it. What was it called? What's the other? The Obsidian Citadel, which is above it in uh, Waking Shore, which is fine. I mean, that's the whole, this whole theme is like Altharian's Lair, right? This looks cool. Um, and I, and I've, I did read some stuff. It seems like they're paying homage to the, um, that Black Rock. Um, the Blackrock Depths. Oh, I'm blanking. See, I'm terrible with names. I do get fuzzy on them. Dungeon names, but it's from Classic WoW. Blackwing, Blackwing Lair. Uh, that's the one I was thinking of. But I heard they're playing homage to that, like with all of his experiments and everything, right? Um, very cool. Very cool. What's Please let either of these guys be... Well, this one, more. I could see more being a mountain, right? Um, a bunch of dragons, of course. The normal, heroic, mythic difficulties will be released at the same time. Three class sets. I play LFR. I am one of those... I don't know you would call them depraved people, but I, I don't... I don't do organized raiding because I just... Uh, with my schedule in life, it's too hard to schedule like a certain time to raid every week. So I just, I just queue up for LFR to collect the set and to uh, experience the raid. Um, and it's nice that it's in little sections, right? Like you, you do three bosses at a time. Um, so each raid, so if I can only play a game, play the game for 30 minutes to an hour that night, I can get one portion of the raid done instead of being stuck in a raid for five hours. And not that it's that long, but uh, anyways. Okay, the tier sets. This is the ex more of the I'm a big cosmetic guy we got hunter heroic monk demon hunter evoker let's see here hmm hunter hunter's cool I like that his shoulder pad is the um that new beast that we just saw in the dragon isles it's the mount for the mythic oh god I can't see I'm bad with the names it's the new like wizard it's like the new thunder wizard from the dragon isles so that's a cool shoulder piece Monk, I mean, I'll be honest, Monk looks like Monk set. I've never been a fan of the Monk cosmetic, just personally. Um, I mean, it has the cool Monk hat that Monks people like, but I wonder if they like that set. It's, I'm indifferent. Demon Hunter, this is cool, but it almost seems like we've seen this before. This looks like a set I've seen, like, it looks like a Demon Hunter set from Legion. I mean, it looks neat. I like the shoulders. Evoker. Don't get me started on Evoker. First of all, I think this set looks awesome. But what sucks is you cannot see this set on your evoker form. Like I, I'm one of those players. I actually made an evoker and I'm or a Drakthir. And it pisses me off because I actually think the Drakthir, you know, I wish they were bulkier, but I still think they're kinda cool. And it pisses me off because uh you won't see this set unless you're in your visage form, and I hate their visage form. I'm funny enough, I'm like the op most the most popular races in Warcraft, right, are, I think, Blood Elf, Night Elf, Human, and Orc, or maybe. I'm just guessing. Um, Not Orc. I think it's something else. It's, like, the hu most humanoid races, and I hate the humanoid races. I like playing, like, a, when I play a fantasy game, like, a high fantasy game like this, I like being, like, the monster races. So, I hate that my, I'm stuck to a Blood Elf visage. So I, I wish this arm, long story short, I wish this armor set was shown on the drag here. That's definitely a shame. It looks so cool too. At least the shoulders. So what, we'll see the shoulders and the belt on the evoker. At least they look cool. But yeah, I, I could rant about that forever. Okay, here we go. Druid, warrior, shaman. Funny enough, I play, these are like the three characters I'm playing in this expansion. So this is like my set that my characters I'm playing a, uh, yeah, I have a Troll Druid, Orc Shaman, and a Torin Warrior. Hmm. I really like the Druid and the Shaman ones, and I'll explain why. I think, I've made, I've made videos about this, but they're finally using, um, like, 3D leg assets. They're not using the stupid tube um skirt from 2004 you know where it's like painted onto your skin 
that you know it's 2020 it's been 15 you know almost 20 years of warcraft that is such an outdated graphic i think in warcraft literally legs i think legs are the last piece of gear that doesn't have a uh that in some sets don't have a 3d asset right like shoulders have always had a 3d asset same with helmet gloves um, boots belts but for the longest time pants have almost until recently some pants or you know either pants or cloaks or not cloaks um robes wouldn't be 3d and i feel like it just makes the game feel so outdated um so that, anyways long story short if you can look at these uh if you look at both of these for the shaman and the uh druid they find they're giving them that like 3d asset um kind of basically 3d asset robes i would say um yeah it looks great it's basically the um the warden set that we saw in the transmog i made a video about that but the warden set has it so i'm so glad they're starting to do that i'll definitely collect these and then the warrior one funny enough it's literally a dragon knight like a dragon knight warrior it's definitely that dragon knight cosmetic like if dragon knight was a class in warcraft that this is what i would imagine their set would look like so it's actually really cool i love it a lot and I like that it has 3D assets on the legs, too. I think it's great. So actually, these, so far, these are my three favorite. So that's great, because those are the characters I'm playing. Um, well, actually, so I'm playing four. I play two Horde, two Alliance, and I'm on Altaholic, as you can tell. Um, playing these four. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Mage, Rogue, Warlock. Hmm. I actually think these are really great, too. Damn, yeah, these that mage one's cool. I like the hood. That's like a Tyrael hood from Diablo. Where you cover, I'm guessing it covers your face. It looks like, I mean, there's a human in there. Or is that a mannequin? I can't tell if that's even a human, so maybe not. You got Shredder right here. That's great. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not a rogue guy, but I'm guessing rogues will love this. It's very Shredder-like. Um, Mage, this is perfect for Arcane. I mean, they'll be different colors. Um, Warlock, I actually love the Warlock one too. Yeah, so far, these are all great. Yeah, I don't play these characters, so I don't, I'm not playing any of these classes, but like, um, those are great. And then Death Knight, and then I've heard, I've heard all the controversy here about the Priest and the Paladin, where everyone's like, this should be the Paladin, this should be the Priest. And, um, you can see the so I think I think only three classes are using those three 3D asset robes, right? Like, see, this is the tube one. Yes, yes, there's 3D on the tube on the um the robe, but I still think I think this aesthetic for a robe looks so much better than this one because you can kind of see it flays out here. I think that's so much better than where it kind of just is like tubed onto your legs. It's nice that they have these little pieces here, but I still think this is the I think this should be the future of robes. Like, so, do you can have this color, but make it, like, look more like this, you know? I don't know. I feel bad for Paladins. I don't play a Paladin, but my brother plays a Priest, so I know he's going to be happy. Because you basically get, like, a Narius Tyrael. Well, and, uh, very cool. Very awesome. If I had to rank, I definitely think, like, I think I don't play a Priest. I think Priest wins. If I had to rank him, I'd go Priest very quick. My personal preference, of course. Priest, Shaman, Priest, Shaman, Druid. Funny enough, I'm picking those three first because, uh, like I said, they have that like new robe, like aesthetic that's kind of newer to the game. One, two, three. I think then Warrior, Evoker, but I'm actually say like Rogue, Warlock, Mage. Then I think the last four would be like Death Knight, Hunter, Demon Hunter, Monk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, who cares? Okay, so more dragon lighting. Okay, I, I we've okay, so yeah. Let's see, it can be so we get a new dragon riding mount. This one is very cool. Look at that, and it gets head armor. I don't think any of our mounts have had head armor yet, so that's cool. I definitely prefer the more spiky look. I would definitely go with something like this. Just looks bulkier. It gets a very thinner mount. It's more serpent-like. 
think it has the serpent uh, model animations. I liked the uh, tough fold or the uh, little hairs but, um, wrapped up. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Hairs on the dragon. Very cool. <coughs> Neat. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And then season two mythic, it has the uh, other four dungeons. I'm not a I'm not a mythic plus person, so I'll never do any of this stuff. I just I find this stuff so repetitive and boring. Like mythic plus to me, um, let's see what was I trying to say here. Hold on, water. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. What I was trying to say here was Mythic Plus to me is, uh, I don't know, it's just really repetitive and boring for me. If I wanted to play, do something like this where I'm just grinding a bunch of mobs and killing stuff, I would do like Diablo, like when Diablo 4 comes out. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, anyways, that's kind of it. And then I did have one other section here. I just also wanted to look at some of the concept art too, because I always find this stuff fun too. Hold on, I'm gonna get some more water. I don't know what's wrong with my throat. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. I'm not used to talking to myself or to the <laughs> camera this long. Okay. Um, let's see here. This is very cool. Oh, let me uh whoops, let me screen there we go that's cool it's just like an album to artwork that one's nothing too crazy I always can I wish I could draw like this man I I always I always can appreciate artwork if, if you've seen some of my other videos I'm a big art guy I work I do I do work in art but I'm not the artiste I do the technical stuff I wish I could do this kind of stuff I just didn't get this talent unfortunately but i can appreciate it um biome thumbnails the art crystal very cool i love it oh wait is there more here nope okay <laughs> those houses again yeah the stuff we gives, gives me like for some reason desert star wars like tatooine vibes these little huts I love it. Another one here. Let's see. Creatures, we kind of see in this guy. This is a drawing of him. I do love Warcraft's art because look at this drawing. Um, oh gosh. Okay, let's go back here. This drawing, and let's go back up to this guy. That's why I love uh like because of the art style of um brain. The art style of Warcraft. It, you can they're so you can make them so similar because they're you know Warcraft has a cartoony graphic right you can almost pull right from it and they look so similar it's great anyways some of the monsters poison guy flame guy bunch of elements crystal guy this is cool I like the crystal monster very creative the creativity I must, it's crazy. Warcraft has been going on almost 20 years, right? It's like, how can you keep thinking of new things? I mean, some of this stuff is probably some repeats, right? But they gotta, that's, like, what if you think of something and you find out that, like, maybe you haven't been working there when someone created something very similar, you know? I don't know. Ooh, he's cool. He's probably the world boss or something. Guessing. We saw pictures of him. Oh, yeah, and so this is the, uh, I think we are, actually, I think, uh, while I'm recording this, they've, We've, someone's data mine this probably but these are the um outdoor sets and i'm thinking it's just, it's just one set per um you know one cloth set one leather set one male one plate in that order and they're you know black uh black dragon flight inspired very cool yeah, i like them if i uh i like these wings here so the male one's pretty nice And the plate, I always think plate looks cool, so. Outdoor sets, let's see. 
Dragon's body wrapped around his shoulders. Oh, that's okay. That's cool. I didn't even read this part. I haven't been, uh... I've really been... I'm just kind of looking at the concept art. Some weapons here. Very cool. Oops, I forgot to... There we go. And see stuff a little better. Hey. I think that's it. But yeah, this is the, uh... I'm looking forward to it. Let me, uh... Back here, where's some cool stuff? So that's real cool. But anyways, yeah, I just kind of wanted to scroll through this, have a chat about it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but if you're excited for 10.1, I am. I really do hope it, it uh, they separate this and um, Diablo 4. Because um, I love Warcraft, don't get me wrong, but Diablo 4 is like a brand new game, right? So I'm definitely going to... Probably no life that when that comes out for at least a little bit and probably put Warcraft on the back burner. So I almost hope this is either a month. I don't know. Even if it was a month after Diablo, I'll probably be busy with Diablo. But if it's before Diablo, that'd be great. Um. Anyways, yeah, this is very cool. I, I am very impressed with these sets. I will say I'm so glad they went back to class sets. I can't I don't know why they did for what two expansions. Basically all of Shadowlands BFA, right? So two expansions. So yeah, for four years they were like, eh, class sets are stupid. I'm like, people want to represent their class. But anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and I'll, get, I'll see you guys in 10.1. See you later.